Roger's on the tow rope duties today. Taking Victor up. And he's got Eddie on the tow rope. Seems to be working quite well. <laughs> we'll see when they get round this corner, where it gets a little bit steeper. It seems to be all right. Following Eddie down Countdown. Loves this bit of trail. If you've never been to the Forest of Dean before, it's absolutely brilliant for the kids now. You've got Countdown and Launch Pad, which you can tell are super smooth. And they've also resurfaced the main blue trail, which cross country is a bit round the edge of the forest, but they've resurfaced the whole midsection and final descent sort of in the last, I don't know, maybe six months or so, they've been doing it in stages. And that's like this sort of terrain as well. So the kids can get used to going at speed. It's got a couple of little pump jumps for, you know, the adults that can actually double some of the jumps. But yeah, the kids absolutely love it. And it's really safe, brilliant cafe and area. They've got you know, workshop if anything goes wrong with your bikes. So yeah, it's a really good place for families and kids. And there is even an actual main family trail that goes outside the park if you just want like a flat gravel path without any downhill. But you can see with this, it's not, you know, you can take it as fast or as slow as you like. And the kids can just cruise down. There's a cheeky double there if you hit it fast enough. But yeah, you've got a fire road climb back up, which is a bit steep, but the kids can walk it. And then you come back up to the top and you can either do this descent or you can cut through and do the actual main blue descent as well. But yeah, that was Countdown. Nice, Eddie. Woohoo! <laughs> so this is then the second part of countdown. This is launch pad. You've got a couple of big swooping burns. As you can see, super nice and flowy still. That's it. Use the burn. Nice. Well done. Big berm coming up now. Stay on the berm, that's it. Nicely done. Stay out of the rough stuff. Oh. Well controlled. Just watch this next corner can be a bit quick. That's it. So yeah, bring the kids down, Forest of Dean. You'll have a wicked day out. More speed for the last bit, yeah! This is the start of the Verdra's descent, which I was talking about earlier on. This first bit's the uh, 
original route and then you'll see as we get a bit further down what they've resurfaced on the bottom bit. Get to drop your saddle, Ed. That's it, get it out of the way. Nice. Who needs an uplifter? <laughs> My favourite part is Dragon's Tail. Oh yeah, we're coming up to that after this bit. The next part of the blue. Are we dropping straight in? Yeah, do it. So this is a bit that was resurfaced recently, up in a few months back. Okay, super nice. A couple of little catch berms. It swoops down through the trees. This bit used to be quite bumpy through the trees. Now they've resurfaced it, it's got a lot more flow to it. Which makes it a bit more accessible for kids and families. Plenty of other trails for the more gnarly to do. And that's it, that's the midsection. This is the uh, final descent of the Verdras, called Dragon's Tail, as you can probably see with this bit. Quite up and down, little pumpy jumps. And 
imagine as well with the hard pack it's going to hold up pretty well through the winter depending where any puddles settle but you should actually take some of this loose sort of top gravel off which will make it a bit more grippy if anything Nice pumping. Nasty on that corner, isn't it? What, I'm right back down to the centre bit? Yeah? Carry on into the next bit. Yep. Come on That is the full Birdra's descent. Second run on countdown.
really busy today actually, there's so many e-bikes about, I can't blame them. Pulling the kids up the uphill for more downhill fun. One of the doubles there that I've just rolled over. And there's one coming, there's one here, and then there's another one just out of these trees, but you need to be going a lot faster than this. This one here. Oh, yeah, I saw it. <laughs> Do you want to go straight in or stop? Yeah, yeah do it. Doing them really well, looking round the berm so you're not on that loose gravel on the inside, you're doing it perfect. Once you get on that loose stuff, that gets a bit twitchy if you were going on the inside. Pretend you're on a toboggan run and you're like using your head round the berm. Done. Well done. 